Now in this section, we'll continue with extended ACL lap, which which we have done in the previous in the previous scenario. Now let's let's go and verify the same thing what we did. If you could show access list, I have configured an ACL 125 where we are going to deny a specific services as mentioned as per our requirement. Now we did not implement it. Now what we are going to do is in this section we'll try to implement it on the interfaces and then we'll verify the same. Now for implementation and verification, now the, now the first thing is we need to implement on any one of the interface here. Like in my scenario here, either I can implement on, now we configure the ACL on the router 1. Now either we can implement on F0 by 0 interface or S, S0 by 0 interface. Now as this is the source and we are taking this particular 1 dot network as our destination. And when the traffic is coming from router 3 or router 2, it comes on this interface. If you implement on this interface, probably will filter them inbound. And if you are, if you decided to use any other interface, let's say if I if I go with this F0 by 0 interface, then the traffic will be coming from here and it is going on this side. Probably it will be, it will be outbound. So because the traffic leaving this interface, uh, if you go with the F0 by 0 interface, it will be outbound. If you are implementing on S0 by 0 interface, it will be inbound. So probably in this scenario, I am going to implement on F0 by 0 interface. Let's go to router 1 and apply inbound on F0 by 0. So IP access group and the ACL number is, sorry, it has to be outbound. So that's something what I decided. So IP access group 125 should be out. Okay, so if you verify the same, if you show an interface, now I have applied on F0 by 0 outbound. Now for verification, the first thing we need to ensure that there must be routing configured so that uh, we can communicate between each other. Let me verify there is any routing or not. Right now there's no routing. So just go and configure any one of the routing protocol, whatever the protocol, either RIP, EHRP, OSPF. I'm going to configure RIP protocol and we are advertising the 192.168.1. network in the LAN and 10. network in the van on the router one. Now the same thing on the router two, I'm going to configure some protocol. Let's say in my scenario, we are going to say version two, network 192.168.2. network in the LAN and 10. network and 11. network. So we're going to advertise the 2. network, 10. network and 11. network. And the same thing on the router three, we are going to configure uh, RAP again, probably on this router three, I'm going to advertise the 10. network, router RIP version 2, network 192.163. network and 11. network. Now I should see the routers should exchange the route, routes in the routing tables. Let's go to router 1 and verify the same. Show IP route. I should see 2. network and 3. network and I should see the communication normally happens. This is something I suggest you to do it before you uh, actually implement the ACLs here. So probably in this scenario, where, uh, I just did the routing right now, but it's okay. Now for verification, what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate some traffic. And if I verify on the router one, I got an ACL. And that particular ACL is going to deny some specific traffic. Let's try to generate some traffic. So I'm going to generate some traffic from two door network, which is trying to access 1.3 uh, web service. Now in the packet tracer, you can simulate the labs here, like you can connect some server computers and you can go to two door network as per our rule. I can go to two door network and I can try generate some HTTP traffic by going to HTTP and typing the destination IP address 1.3, right? That's, that's the requirement. Now I should not see the page coming up here and you can see the page is not coming up. It shows as request timed out. And for verification, I can go to router one and I can use show access list. You can see there are some specific matches, like there are some packets coming from 1.3, uh, from 2. network trying to access 1.3 web service and it has been denied. And if you try to do the same thing from other computer, let's say, let's go to another computer here. Uh, let's, let's go to the same computer, but I'll try to access another server that is 192.168.1.4. I should be able to get the web page, hopefully. If it is not getting, then there, there is some issue. 
Now let me check on which it's denying here. Let me check where it has matched. Now you can see it has matched here also. 1.4, 1.4. I was trying to access 1.4 HTTP service. Let me try. I should be able to ping to 1.4. That's something what I'm expecting. Now there's no 1.4. I think there's no IP address here. Let me check. 1.4, there's an IP address here. Let me check what's the issue. Now the issue here was, if you just verify here, I created IP permit any any, but it was written as ACL 124. It has to be ACL 125. That's the mistake which I did. No access list 124. I need to say access list 125 permit IP any any. That's something what I did uh, mistake here. Let's go and verify now. Now from here, now I should be able to ping to 1.4. You can see it's pinging. And then if I try to access from the two door network, if I try to access 192.168.1.3, I cannot access because as per the ACR rule, it is denied. I should see the request timed out. But if I try to access 1.4, I should be able to see the web page here because the reason is 1.4 is permitted here. Let's go to router one and verify the same show access list. Now I can see there is a permit matches here. Now, the, when we try to generate the traffic from 1.2 network, when you are trying to access 1.4, that to HTTP service, it will try to match the first statement. If the first statement do not match, check the second statement. Right now, there is no deny statement defined saying that 2 network should not access 1.4 HTTP service. So it matches the final permit statement. It's going to allow the traffic. Now, similar way, if you want to generate some more traffic, you can try this deny rule as well. Now here I can try two different services, either I can verify HTTP, that's something what I do, or you can also verify ping also. So let's verify this one first. Uh, we'll, we'll try to generate some traffic which matches the deny rules and we need to ensure that that should, that should be denied and we should see some matches in the show access list commands. So from 3.1, 1.3 web service. So 3.1. And then I'm trying to access 1.3 web service. I'll try to access. It should not come up here. And I should see on the router one, I should see some matches here. You can see there are some matches generated here. So similar way, you can try some ping request. Where from 3.2, you need to ping to 1.2. We should stop that. Let's, let's generate some traffic. So from 3.2, this is my 3.2 computer. And from the 3.2 computer, I'm going to generate traffic to 1.2. Now you can see here, it's denying here, but I can I can ping to 1.1 here. I should be able to ping to 1.1 because, uh, because in the deny statement, we defined 3.2 should not ping to 1.2, but you can ping to other ones. Now if you go and verify the same on the router one, I should see there should be four, four ping messages denied here. And then you can see some permit matches here. Now this is how we can verify where we can have, we can assume there is a traffic coming and we can verify the same here by using this access list. So I generally prefer using this packet tracer. The reason is we can, we can generate some kind of simulated traffic like HTTP and ping messages and, and we can test and verify this extend ACL lab.